question. Thank you, Jeremy. Any other further comments? Mike? In my own mind, I think we're all saying the same thing here. It's, you know, it's um, we're kind of going around the circle. What do you want to say? Well, I, I, I want to me personally, I would I would like to see the study done on that structure. If it's structurally sound for the next 25 years, I believe we're wasting our time and money trying to talk about a new facility that's going to cost us $20 million that we're never going to be able to afford. I don't think we're talking about that. Well, I think we are. It's kind of what we've been talking about. No. I so I'm first. just saying that facility that we have, if it's structurally sound, is sufficient for this municipality. I think that's what we're refurbish doing. it, put the new ice surface in, boards and glass, and an, and uh, and a new header for the no, machine. We're not saying that. We're well, saying we're it, saying we want to get a needs study done to find out what the community wants. If the community wants ice, we'll get that message. If they want something other than that, we'll get that message. Then Mayor? we'll then we'll proceed to make sure the building is fine, and uh, we don't have to worry about it for 15, 20 years or whatever. And then we'll we'll uh, go ahead with that. Mayor, anything? Step, excuse process. me, <clears throat> Mayor. I don't know how other people is reading the, the uh, this assessment part on the arena, but I read it that that arena is important to our community. No well, two ways about that. Right, everything that's in here, keep the arena, and they talk about the um, the, the biggest thing that's going on with the arena and this study. The part that least I'm reading is you know the 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 fire. The small dressing rooms, the small corridors, the uh, getting it brought up to to uh, making it accessible for everybody. Um, the uh, and it talks about all the other stuff that we've been, the glass, the boards, repairing the ice surface, but structurally, it's in good shape. Okay, go ahead through your, through your merit of Council Ainsworth. So I understand what you're saying, and I understand what I'm hearing in the room. What what the needs assessment is going to do for you is provide you with the decision of what your residents want. And therefore you're not going to go spend $3 million in a direction that you may want to fix that arena in your heart, but maybe the residents don't want you to fix that arena. We know that they want recreational facilities. We know that they want programming. That's our job to provide it as staff of the township, right? Which is what Jeremy's doing. The needs assessment puts you in a position to say, yes, you are qualified to spend money to rehabilitate that arena, or it's going to tell you to go in a different direction. It may tell you that that soccer or racquetball or whatever is the next biggest thing that you need to focus on and not ice. You don't know that, but the needs assessment is the appropriate path forward to put you in a position to make the decision that you're wanting to make. It's a step-by-step. -step. I do understand that, but for the next five years, while we're trying to figure this all out, while we put a shovel in the ground, what is our kids and our users going to do? I'm not sure where you come with the five years. Well, what is it, what's it going to take? Maybe we could go by Trent or uh, Trent Hills. How long did it take them before they started to figure it out, before they actually put a shovel in the ground? I don't think we're into that. Well, I'm just saying, so that's something we have, we're have. we not talking about. What is our kids going to do for the next three years? I'm going to let Jeremy. So, best answer on that as he possibly can. Um, through you, Mr. Mayor, certainly the short-term use of that facility is a concern that's been magnified in the last few weeks. Um, I, I don't, sitting before you right now today, I don't have an answer for that. Um, Nothing. The needs assessment or condition assessment of that facility, if it was ordered today, isn't going to isn't going to change that answer of what's going to happen down there in the next three years. We do have an assessment from 2016 that had a 15 year projection on it. The next three years are captured within that. So, uh, ice emergency equipment um, repair aside. The structural concerns that you're that you're identifying for that facility have been addressed. The, mm -hmm. This township has paid for that has paid for that assessment, and it has been submitted. And it's in that fifteen years, also. Correct. Yeah, and it's fine. 
according to this assessment. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So structurally, if we put $4 million into that arena, we're good for the next 25 years. Just hypothetically thing. You know, we got the Legion that wants to come on board. Um, maybe there's more money for maybe something else that we could build. But that arena, in, to me, needs to be fixed. And I don't know if the last two weeks has told anybody the story, but I'll tell you the amount of pushback that we got. I would say that, you know, what that arena means to this this municipality. So I just I just think we just keep going around the circle here and stalling and stalling, and we're going to come up with the answer that we need to fix the arena we got. And I don't think anybody's arguing with you with that. We want to fix the arena to make sure it's there forever. It just makes sense. It makes it's logical for us as the position we are in as a as the uh, for finances. At the same time, we got to look at what everyone wants. Here we I, this is a process question. You are saying in your heart of hearts, that's what you prefer. Okay, if it is indeed the right path, this study will show us that that is indeed the right path. And then we will all be moving forward together. But the process is not a singular counselor advocating loudly or getting a group to come and advocate loudly. That is not how we run a municipality. We do the studies and we make informed decisions. Mayor, I would like to say that we like to listen to our residents. Yes, I think that's what we're here for. That's what, that's what the needs are. I, I just wanted to ask to um, just the experience, uh, if I may, to Jeremy, the experience that you have had in uh, facilities like this or in um, areas that are looking at different facilities, uh, without this needs assessment for the community, what is the likelihood of us getting uh, funding from the governments if we haven't got this study done? Um, through you, Mr. Mayor, certainly having um, recent and accurate studies it, it enhances the abilities of a a municipality to obtain funding and grant money, certainly. Mm -hmm. um, I think your question takes it a step further of staff is is trying to suggest that we, we consult with the community on how they want to see any potential grant money spent in the future as well, and yeah. not just base it on assumptions. Right, and I, I do believe that the two-step process is necessary to get to where we need to be. So um, we no. could be here all day going yes, around the mulberry bush. bush. So we have a uh, recommendation from staff on the floor. No, we don't. We have no. a motion from July. It's not on the floor, pardon me. It's in our agenda. Can we use that? to start off and then make adjustments to that. And basically my understanding is that Jeremy wants to do a needs of study. And after that, and it doesn't mention anything about the, oh, pardon me, I'll take that back. It does mention that he thinks after reading the 2016 report that it uh, he's satisfied that it, it could be okay. But I 